Okay, so we should recognise uh, by now that uh, degrade and higher that um, the questions tend to be a little bit more complicated uh, on averages and range because they tend to give you the data given in tables or you've got to fill the table in from a set of tally data or something. So we've got here, um, Zach has got 10 CDs and it's about the number of tracks on each CD and we've just got to remember how these tables get interpreted. So here we're saying there's one CD and there's 11 tracks on it. Here we're saying there's three CDs and there are 12 tracks on it and so forth. So that's the kind of thing we've got to think. And this came from a list of numbers. Um, I think, you know, this, you can understand in the exam, this will be a simple list, uh, but in real life, this list could contain thousands of numbers. Um, so you won't want to have a list of thousand numbers written out. You put them into a table to see your data brought together in a nice succinct way. Four CDs had 15 tracks and so forth, rather than looking through hundreds of numbers to find out how many had 15. The table makes it very easy to see what's going on. So lots of ways of doing this. Um, the mode, as we said before, is all about the item that occurs the most, uh, the most often, has the highest frequency. So when we look through this list, we can see that the highest frequency is four. So that tells us that the mode average number of tracks is 15. Uh, if I want to work out the mean, then again, we've got to remember the mean is about the total. And so this is about total number of tracks, because it's about tracks of uh, number of tracks on CDs. So the total number of tracks. And um, we're going to divide by the number of CDs because that's how many uh, dealing with. So if we want to get the total number of tracks, then basically we always fill in an extra column to help us uh, see this. So the number of tracks is our data, so we can call that X. Frequency is our number of items, so we can call that F. So in this final column, we always do the data item times the frequency, because then we can get the total number of tracks in the whole uh, table. So we've got 11 times 1 is 11, 12 times 3 is 36. 13 times 0, got to be careful here, is always 0, times by 0. Um, 14 times 2 is 28, and 15 times 4 is 60. So this will allow us to add up and work out how many tracks there are altogether on all the CDs. So we've got uh, 11, uh, 41, 47, 67, 75, uh, 135. So go backwards to check. So 60, 80, 88. Uh, 118, 124, 134, 135. So work out the, the mean. We've got the total number of tracks, 135, and we do divide it by the number of CDs, which is 10. And when we divide by 10, all the digits move down one place value, so it becomes 13.5. Now, don't write that as a whole number or anything, because the mean average, we do allow decimals because it's about comparing. We might have had another set of data for another um, set of CDs. And we want to compare the two and rounding things to whole numbers will introduce errors when we're doing the mean average comparisons. So we always leave them as decimals. That's quite important, guys. So the other averages they could ask you to work with, of course, is the mode. Uh, so we're talking about the mode, sorry, uh, the median. Uh, they could ask you to find the, uh, the median number of tracks. And of course, that means then we've got to think about where's the median CD. Well, the tables are already in size order, 11 tracks, 12 tracks, and so forth. Uh, we've got 10 CDs, uh, so if we add one to that, 11, half, at 5 and a half. So that means we want to be between the 5th and the 6th CD. Well, we've got 1, plus that 1 is 4. So here we've got 4 CDs, and then here we would have the 5th and 6th. So here we've got the 1st CD, then the 2nd, then the 3rd, then the 4th. Here we've got the fifth and then the sixth. We want to be in between those for the median. Well, it's both tra both CDs are in this um, group here, um, so this uh, row here. Then we'd say the median is equal to 14 for this particular set of data. And if we ask you to calculate the range, then of course you just find out the highest number of tracks and take away the smallest number of tracks. So the range would be 15, take away 11, so 4 tracks. Uh, again, this will stop the video and give you a few moments to practice a couple of questions where you're working with discrete data, uh, discrete data put into a uh, table, so a frequency table of data.